everyone, Joe here. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for everybody that's been stopping by to say hello and see what I'm up to. And uh, today I am continuing in this room that the last two videos I've been in, I did the mantle that you see behind me uh, two videos ago, and I did the, uh, the tiny hutch uh, yesterday. So today I'm going to be working on the tree in here, and I'm going to just share with you the tree topper um, in this video. So I'm going to make a little short video. And I don't want to talk too much because people don't want to hear me talking. They want to, you know, see me doing. So here's the tree. This is a nine foot um, slimline tree. Uh, and you can see it, had, it was pre-lit with the white lights and I added in red lights because the theme in this room is kind of a lodgy kind of a style and I'm going with a lot of red and white accents. Now, the tree topper is going to be, uh, actually someone had asked me one of my uh, friends on YouTube asked me, what do you do when your tree is nine feet and the ceiling is nine feet? And that's exactly what this is. So I'm going to show you how I tackle that and make it hopefully look like it's not crammed up against the ceiling. Okay, so just hold on while I get my stuff together. Okay, so as you can see, I'm up here and here's the top of the tree. And actually, I had to bend it forward because it is, it's, you know, it's actually a little bit more than nine feet, the tree. So this is going to be a lodgy kind of style, and I'm going to be using a lot of the cardinals here. So I'm going to begin incorporating uh, this in, into my tree topper. And for those of you that didn't see this, just found me. I have a tutorial on how I did this with the buffalo check here. And what I was it was from the dollar store, this tree house, and I just added all of this stuff in. So it's going to be a recurring theme throughout this tree. So I'm going to get this up on the topper. Okay, so if you caught my tutorial on the um, tree toppers, I always usually start the first with something spiky. So I'm going to use this first. Now, uh, you know, because the camera and me on this ladder are in the way, it's not going to get in the right spot. But simply just you stick it in like this and you begin arranging them around your centerpiece. So I'm going to just stick that in like that and then I'm going to move around because you don't want to see me fall off this ladder. All right, so this is where I'm at right now. You can see I went on all sides here and um, I'm done with my spiky. So now my next one is going to be a little bit more uh, pudgy. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I have these. These are more cascading down this way and I'm going to kind of like fill in this area here. All right, so what I want to do is so it does, just doesn't look like a point up here. And I'm going to incorporate this into the tree, that, not that it's laying out on the top of it. And I have four of those, so I'm going to put those in. All right, so you see, I incorporated it into the tree. It's not laying on the top because I know we have that tendency that we want everything to be on the top. You know, we like it so much and we want everything to be seen. But, you know, you, you need to layer stuff. Otherwise, it just looks like everything is on the top of the tree. So you have to kind of imagine that if this was a real tree and this was something real growing, it would probably come up through the middle of the tree and then come out to try to get some sunlight. So you want to incorporate it into the tree and uh, not so much just sticking out to make it look like it's part of it and not separated from it. All right, so the tree is going to be red, black, and white. Uh, so, you know, the red gets really dark after a while and it starts to become like a blur. So I'm going to add in these ficus leaves that I have here. And all I did was I spray painted them white and it'll give a nice um, highlight to that area and actually make the red appear brighter than it is. All right, so what you want to do is, here's the stem, right? And I'm going, I bent it a little bit and make it look like it's cascading. And then I'm just going to go in here again, stick it in there, and then work its way in between, <clears throat> excuse me, between the tree itself and the red. So here I'm bending this again and I'm going to stick it in here and I'm going to work it between the red and the tree. Okay, and I'll show you that when I get those pieces in. All right, so you see, I put in these white leaves and I kind of intertwined them in there. I pushed them in and I brought some of the red out and so on. And I did that all around.
the outside. I'm right up on it. I'm sorry. I know it's really close, but you can see. So now I have the extensions going up and I have this coming down and then I'm going to build up right in here. So the next thing is these Dollar Tree uh, berry picks and I push the leaf. I uh, they put the leaf all the way down here, but uh, you push the leaf up closer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this section right here around the birdhouse. So I just bend the bottom a little bit and once again, I stick them in and, and um, I know you can't see that well until I come around, but you know what? It makes, these berries make such a big difference immediately. As, as soon as they go on the tree, it's uh, kind of weird. But um, so right now I am building right around the birdhouse because I want to highlight that as the the uh, center of my um, topper. Okay, I'll show you that in a second. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in <coughs> these white lacy fern leaves, again, to just offset all of this red. And I'm just going to tuck them in just like that. And I'll show you that too after I go around because my ladder's a little wobbly. All right, and to finish it up, I'm going to insert these branches in there, and I've put a cardinal on there, uh, and it'll make the top a little bit more special, and when I'm done with that, I'm just going to stick these in. When I'm done with that, I'll show you the whole completed top. Okay, so I think it is complete. The centerpiece was the birdhouse with the cardinal, then I did the spiky up. And then I did the cascading below. And then I added in some white to offset all that red. And then went back in with some berries. And then I put in some white branches that have some cardinals sitting on the branches. And I finished it off with some pine cones. Okay, everybody, so that's the end of this video, and that's the topper of this tree, and I'm going to continue with the tree today, and I'll be putting up that video probably tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this little view of how I did my lodge-style tree topper, and uh, like always, please subscribe if you don't want to miss anything that I'm doing in my uh, Christmas 2020 series. Okay, everybody, take care, and I'll be seeing you really soon. Bye-bye.